the third game of the year in a big home run against the Golden Eyes when he was playing for the Sioux Falls Canaries. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Line drive towards the gap in left center field. On the run, Logan Hill. He's not going to get it. It's down for a base hit and bouncing towards the wall. Bockley scores. McCurdy on his way to second, and he gets there standing up with an RBI double. Carson McCurdy with an opposite field RBI double here at the top of the second, and the Red Hawks have taken an early 1 to nothing lead. The 0-2 pitch. Hit hard towards the middle of the diamond. Darbel goes out, can't get it. Base hit through to center field. McCurdy rounds third on his way to the plate. The throw by Hill not in time. McCurdy scores standing up. And Reichenbach with an RBI single through to center. And it's 2 to nothing. Red Hawks in the top half of the second inning. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Lachance swings, pulls it down the left field line. Long run for Lovejoy racing over. Dives and Lovejoy makes the catch. Stafford has to hustle back to first. Cody Lovejoy laying out and robs Kevin Lachance of extra bases. Lachance, a good swing, kept his hands inside a hanging breaking pitch and pulls it down the left field line. And Lovejoy with a huge catch to take away extra bases. And there's two away now for Logan Hill. Winnipeg's outfielders have made some nice plays already tonight. Here's the 1-0. Line drive, one opera to first, and it's going to sneak by Martin down the right field line. Datsun into third. He's going to be waved around. Datsun will score. Bockley goes to third, and the Red Hawks lead at 3 to nothing. We'll be keeping a close eye on three of those series here this weekend. The 1-0 pitch. Line drive towards right, coming on Murphy. Murphy makes the grab. Bockley tags will come in to score. Murphy's throw goes to second. Bockley scores standing up, a sacrifice fly and a run batted in for Ed Reichenbach, his second RBI of the night. Runners go, 3-2 pitch. Ground ball chopped a third, tough pop, Lachance knocks it down. He recovers, the throw to first is not in time. Dexter is safe, in to score McCurdy from third, and the Red Hawks now lead it 5-0. It's really a lot of the little things, though, that don't show up in the box score that have made Kyle such a special person inside the clubhouse. He's emerged into a team leader these last couple of years and has done everything to try and make everybody feel comfortable and welcomed inside the clubhouse. 2-2 pitch and a high fly ball, deep right field. Back goes Pionic, back in the wall. He looks up and it's gone! Association single season record for home runs with his 31st of the year. And the Gold Eyes are on the board at 5 to 1 here in the bottom half of the fourth. He has also set a league record with his 104th run batted in. So Kyle Martin on one swing of the bat makes history twice. Handshakes and hugs for the top step of the dugout. 31 home runs to tie Keon Barnum and Adam Brett Walker and Kyle Martin on that same swing as just past Caesar Nicholas with his 104th RBI of the year. The 2-2 pitch and a high fly ball deep left field. Back goes Logan Hill, looks up at the wall and it's gone. Cody Lovejoy with a two out, three run home run to left. And the Red Hawks re-extend the lead. It's eight to one Fargo Moorhead in the top half of the fifth inning. So Cody Lovejoy, one of the nine players signed today by the Red Hawks to fill out their roster for this four game series. The 2-2. Line drive, base it down the left field line. Long run for Logan Hill to cut it off. Novak rounds third. Novak's going to be waved to the plate. Hill grabs the ball off the running track. Novak dicks for home, and he scores without a relay throw. Sam Dexter with an RBI double down the left field line. And the Red Hawks extend the lead in 9-1 to one in the top half of the sixth. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Ground ball out to shorter run will score. Nice pickup by Darvel behind the bag. Slings it a first in time to get Datsun. Dexter scores from third. And the Red Hawks now lead it 10 to 1. The 2 1 pitch. Ground ball back to the mound. It's headed towards the bag. It's second. And it's off the glove of a diving. Novak, no play at first or second. In to score is Ramon. And the Gold Eyes cut the lead at 10 to 2. First and third and two down. The 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball wide. Caught by Martin. And the inning is over. Brad Helton with a line drive back to the mound. And Kyle with a backhand catch over his left shoulder. Takes away a hit and a run batted in. First and second one down. The payoff pitch. Line drive towards center. That's going to get down for a base hit. Ramona to 30 is going to be waved to the plate. No 
Long throw by Foxwell. Ramon scores standing up. West Starbler with an RBI single to center field. And the Gold Eyes cut the deficit to 10 to three in the bottom half of the ninth. Lefty against lefty, Stover out of the high set. And the pitch high and tight, it hit him. Kyle Martin plunked in the back, and he'll pick up RBI number 105. And it cuts the lead to 10 to four. So Tyler Hill scores from third. And the Gold Eyes inch a little bit closer. If Winnipeg can get two more base runners, they'd bring the tying run to the plate. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Ground ball left side might be two. Dexter goes to second for one. Novak on to first, and it's in time for the double play. And the ball game is over. Brady Stover gets Deion Stafford on a 6-4-3 game-ending double play. And the Fargo Moran Red Hawks take the opener of this four-game series for the Winnipeg Gold Eyes by a final score of 10-4. to